Here's a quick update on the garden. This is the indoor section. You'll notice here we've already done these. I'm going to show you in this video how I've done this. These are succulent plants, money plant, aloe vera, as well as some cactus. These over the years have grown in their pots. They've not done too well in a mixture of pots. So getting some bit of uh, expert advice here from the succulent pro. We're going to be splitting these into sections. The main plant did okay, but over winter, yeah, I think the cold got to it. So what I'm doing here is mixing some special compost together. I'll show you how I mix the compost, how I split the plants and how it easily grows to get more plants for free from the main plants. So watch this uh, video if you're interested in growing your collection of succulents and making them last a little bit longer. So what we've done here is a bit of sand, normal uh, sand and some compost, just sieving that out to get rid of any big bits from the previous uh, organic compost. You can use bagged compost, you can use a mixture of things for this. All I've done is just made a little batch of this so we can pop away and have this aloe vera split into three pots to see how that works you'll notice i put some more compost in there to mix it together that is just normal uh, household multi-purpose compost mixed at the ratio just to make it a little bit like uh, rough you can see here i'm just guessing it and some sand some compost i'll say about 40% sand and 60% compost is roughly what I'm doing. Just feel it and see what feels right to you. You want a nice dry mix that easily drains away. A little bit of bark in the bottom just to give it a bit of weight. If you have heavier plants, put a couple of stones in the bottom because sometimes they topple over. So you'll notice here now all we're doing is finding the best uh, aloe vera plants. I'll keep you updated on these to show you how they grow over time. But during summer they normally do very well. It's normally winter when we start to have problems with them. And they do grow uh, side shoots as they are constricted. So smaller pots tend to be better for aloe vera, money plant and cactuses. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about doing this yourself. Again, all of this has originated from one plant. Over a few years, we just keep uh, replanting the babies that come off the offshoots and they slowly make more and more plants. So you'll see here now, this is a number of plants from one main plant that we started with. We've got one indoor in the kitchen, a smaller one, and then these are the outdoor ones. So a nice uh, sized pot and some compost just filling along the gaps and just, well, using it to weigh the plant down. And we don't water it after we've done this repotting for about two to three weeks. Just let it settle in and then keep an eye on it. Again, with succulents, they don't need much water anyway. And keep tuned because what I will be doing is we've got quite a lot of these plants. And I'm going to be putting some succulents in the top of the potato planter just to see how that comes out. Because at the start of the video, you may have seen that big uh, money plant that was planted in the terracotta pot. That actually did quite well, surprisingly well for how we did it. So here's a money plant you can see. We just repotted this into a slightly deeper pot with the stones in the bottom. And it was originally in that black pot just to give it a little bit more breathing room. We don't want it toppling over because it's getting top heavy. It looks quite healthy. And again with these, we don't give them too much attention. With cactuses, the less you do with them, normally the better they tend to work out for you. And you'll see here, this is the potato planter. In the top, we had strawberries which seem to have died this year during winter. So what I'm doing here is we're just putting through uh, the remainder of these cactus just to see if it makes like an interesting piece on the top of this, like a bit of a desert feel. And again, this will give you an idea of what you can do. Compost here is just a mix again with a bit of sand, not as much sand in this one. You just want to see how well they do in this versus the sand mix that I used earlier. And pushing them into the center. I've got some cactus which I'll put into each corner of this as well just to see how it does. Again, this is a small city garden. We're making use of every space that we've got. These planters were originally from Aldi or Lidl. I can't remember which one, but you're normally assuming a pack of three. And potatoes normally do well in them. Again, with the spacing around them, you can put a number of different plants. You'll see here I've got cactus that I've slowly done okay. I'll just stick them in the corners of these uh, pots just to give a little bit of color. And normally these cactus actually, when they're doing uh, well, they will flower as well. Again, these will be spiky, so use something to help you to get them out and use them in the corners. Um, this is more of an experiment because these extra plants that I've got over time. We'll keep an eye on these in my updates, so make sure you keep an eye on the, the videos I upload about the garden updates every week or so. I just do a little walk around the garden to let you know how the garden is coming along and the progression. So you'll see they're all potted up here. I haven't watered them yet. I left them there. And the extra leaves that fall off, we'll actually grow full plants from those as well. You'll see that one's a little bit yellow. Got The frost got to it in winter. I'll see you in the next update.